Yo, how is it going Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. The Bears have currently signed eight undrafted free agents after making seven picks in the 2020 NFL Draft. As most people know, undrafted free agents are a very big part of the NFL, so today we're going to take a look at some players that the Bears picked up on Saturday afternoon and discuss some of them. I am your host, Chris Malpey. Welcome to Uncut Episode 9. First off, I would like to start this off by saying thank you guys so much for supporting us and all of the draft coverage that we did uh, kind of in our first year, quote, covering the draft. Just to run you guys through some stats, uh, up until yesterday, we had 38 draft-related articles on our website, BearDown.com, in just over a month. 20 draft-related videos on the Bear Down YouTube channel in the past two weeks. That includes podcasts, episodes of Uncut like this, and mixtapes. We had a two-hour live stream on YouTube for the second round. It was about uh, yeah, it was about two hours, an hour forty-five to be exact, with over seven hundred views. You know, there was over thirty concurrent viewers in the live stream, hopping in and out throughout it. 391 new subscribers on YouTube in the past 28 days. We are going to continue to grind for 1K. Hopefully, we can hit that sometime this summer. And as far as our website goes, there's between 30 and 70, up to even 80 or 90 unique viewers on BearDown.com every day. You know, we intend to improve on this as we continue to head into the future. We're already excited to start our 2021 draft coverage. We're going to make the first ever Bear Down Big Board. We're going to have... 10, 20 plus mock drafts in 2021. We have such a good team of hardworking individuals. I'm really excited to see what we can do moving forward. So let's get into this episode of Uncut. You know, we got to talk about the undrafted free agents. So let's quickly break down who the Bears have signed so far following Saturday's draft. They've signed eight undrafted free agents. So let's get into it. And excuse me, because some of these names are a little bit hard to pronounce. So they've signed... I think this is Western Illinois' uh, LaCal London defensive line, LSU's offensive tackle, Badara Triori, Artavis Pierce, running back from Oregon State, Ahmad Wagner, tight end wide receiver from Kentucky, Ladarius Mack, defensive end from Buffalo. You heard that right. It's Khalil Mack's brother. Dieter Eselin, offensive lineman from Yale, Rashad Smith, linebacker from Florida Atlantic, and Trayvon McSwain, defensive lineman from Duke. I'm going to start this episode off by breaking down what I like about a couple of these guys, so let's get right into it. You know, the picks I like a lot are Bador Triori, LSU's offensive tackle, Ahmad Wagner, the tight end slash wide receiver from Kentucky, as well as Dieter Eselin from uh, Yale, a offensive lineman. Let's get into them a little bit specifically before we talk about the main point of this video, which is Lee Mack. So, Ahmad Wagner's a good one. You know, he only played one year of high school and college football combined. He actually went to the University of Iowa to be a basketball player, where he played three years there. So, that just shows something about his athleticism, similar to someone like a Jimmy Graham. But for his senior year, he transferred to Kentucky to play basketball and football. He's six foot six. He's a great athlete. He had 254 yards and two touchdowns for Kentucky as a senior. He's really a prototype wide tight end. He's really quick. He can get up and down the floor. You know, he did that while playing basketball. Wasn't essentially an incredible scorer on the basketball court, but he's got a really high ceiling because he's barely played football. And I think he's a great athlete, someone who can work really well with Clancy Baroni. Has that basketball background like Jimmy Graham had coming out of college. Someone I really like a lot and think can make the roster. Let's get into Dieter, Dieter Eselin uh, from Yale. He got coaching from NFL Hall of Famer Jackie Slater during his seasons at Yale and has a ton of upside. He's a three-year starter. He has great guard technique uh, and obviously a high upside. Jackie Slater has spoken highly about him. Uh, and then let's finally get into Badara Triori. Um, he's someone who's got a championship pedigree, you know, played a couple years at LSU blocking for Joe Burrow. Uh, he's really someone I like. He's, he, he's a leader. I think he's really someone that that's good, but we're here today to talk about Lee Mack, Khalil's brother, and if he can make an impact on the bears in 2020. 
And we're going to start off by a quote about by Ryan Pace that was said to the Chicago Sun-Times in his, in his press conference yesterday following the draft. And he said, with Khalil's brother, that's definitely something that we're looking forward to. It's something that's worked out for us in the past. It will be unique having two brothers on the same team. You know, personally, I think that Lee Mack has a very high upside if you watch some of his tape, Lee, Ladarius, whatever you want to call him. And he's a force to be reckoned with, similar to his older brother, obviously. I, I don't think this is just a good morale signing. You know, Khalil's going to be in his corner while he's in Chicago, working him very hard, working hard with him, telling him exactly what he does need to do to make the team. Odds are if he does make the 53-man roster, he doesn't have much of an impact if he makes it. But it would be cool to see Matt Nagy put him and his brother out there across from one another during the preseason. You know, Matt Nagy was one to recently say that he needs to up the preseason reps moving forward. If you remember, during his first play as the Bears coach, he did the T formation versus the Packers to pay uh, just, just to pay uh, just to pay it up to the history of the Bears. Basically, he respects the little things, and I think it would be really cool to see Mac and Mac lining across from one another. And I hope that's something we can see in the Bears' future. You know, he's six foot one, two hundred and forty pounds, so he's a little bit smaller than his big brother. He was a two-year starter at Buffalo. He has nine career sacks. And clearly some very solid DNA from the Mack family. He has the exact same instincts as his brother if you watch the tape. He has 40 career tackles. Over a quarter of those are for a loss. 13.5 tackles for a loss. So he's really a force to be reckoned with, as I said earlier. Really someone who can get into the backfield. Throughout two seasons, he has four forced fumbles. Three of those came in 2019. And he also has recovered two of those fumbles that he forced. If you remember against week one when, when it was Khalil Mack's first game against uh, Green Bay in 2018, he actually took the ball from Deshaun Kaiser and just kept it. So recovering his own fumbles is something big. I think Lee Mack needs to work a little bit on bulking up and also his pass rushing skills, but I think those are bound to improve throughout training camp. I'm going to give my personal opinion on Lee Mack. You know, I think it's going to be tough, but I do think he does have a legitimate shot to make the roster. He clearly has the right people in his corner and can be a contributor on special teams, something that the Bears always need to improve on, and possibly a practice squad signing that can definitely develop down the future. He has the upside. He has the brother who's going to help him out. He has great coaches and players in Chicago who are going to help him out. He obviously has the genes, and one can imagine what it would be like if they did line across from each other one day. So the guys I'm really excited for as far as the undrafted free agents go, Dieter Eselin, Ahmad Wagner, Badara Triori, and Ladarius Mack. I think the Bears got some really good undrafted free agents. We'll see if a quarterback is to come. I don't think the Bears end up looking for one until 2021, but there's definitely some guys that they brought in that have some very good upside. Let me know in the comments who you guys think uh, that the Bears picked up as far as undrafted free agents go that could make the roster, who you guys are excited for. I think Ahmad Wagner is probably the one I'm most excited for. I think he has some very high upside at that tight end position. Obviously, the Bears do have, I think, 11 or 12 tight ends right now after undrafted free agents were signed. But that being said, I think only 4-6 to six will make the 53-man roster, maybe a couple on the practice squad as well. Thank you guys so much for the support on all of our draft content. It's really been great, and we're going to keep grinding for you guys. we got some great podcasts coming later this week, draft grades, stuff like that. We're trying to get some good guests coming on again. We've got some former Bears coming on. It's going to be really exciting. Uh, and obviously, we got some more reporters coming on. We've got some ESPN people we might get coming on soon. It's really exciting, the future of Bear Down. So if you want more content from us, do us a favor. Go over to our website, beardown.com. If you would like to follow my fan page on Instagram, go check it out, at Dashai Bears News. And you can also follow the podcast on Instagram and Twitter, at Bear Down. I'm really excited to see how these free agents pan out, you know. Let's hope that training camp happens. Everyone make sure to stay safe, continue to wash your hands. Let's continue to fight to flatten this curve. That's pretty much it for me. Once again, I am your host, Chris Malby. Bear Down Uncut, Episode 9. We're going to keep coming out with these uncuts. We got another one coming from Parsh Shaw soon in the future. Looking at the 2021 quarterback draft class, a little bit of an early prediction on some guys that could be available. Thank you guys for tuning in, and as always, Chicago, stay safe and bear down. Peace.